Hi, this is Jason with Days Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to turn on Roblox notifications. And if you want a notification for your Roblox account, also this will show you how to shut them off. So if you wanted to do opposite what I'm telling you, um, how to turn them on and how to turn them off on your Roblox account. Um, before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps out the channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos I come out with every Thursday. All right, I'm going to show you this on the website and on the mobile app. Um, and actually I'll do that on both in this video so you guys can see it in the middle. So here we go. First thing we want to do is go to our Roblox account. If you're not signed in, make sure you sign into your Roblox account. And if you're, once you're on here, you'll be on your home screen. You're going to go to the top right and click the little gear icon up here and click on that. It takes you, it opens a little menu and you have settings is what we want. The top one. Click on that. Then once you open it up, here's your settings screen. You're going to go down to notifications on the little tiny menu under settings. You have account, security, privacy, and we want notifications. So you're going to click on that. Okay, now here is the customized notifications across channels and experiences. Experiences is their game, if you ever wanted to know. Um, so the first one they offer you is mobile push notifications. So if you click the little arrow down over here, it will open up all the options you can do. So you can go through here and... Um, the events, community events, experience events, contacts on Roblox, these are all on on mine. Group announcements, it's on mine. So if you don't want them on, you just click it and it shuts it off. There's no push, you don't have to click save or anything. You just click and it turns it on and off. It's a little switch on the right hand side here. Yeah, friend request receive will give you a notification. If you don't want these notifications, just turn off each switch. But this is for your mobile push notification. So this is your mobile device. If you have the Roblox app on your phone, or on some kind of device, mobile device, it will, this affects that. So basically, if you want a mobile notifications, this is where you're going to adjust those. So that's how you do the mobile push notifications, which is for your mobile device. You're going to click the little arrow back, make a close. Then there's the email notifications. I don't, I don't do any of these. So if you want to have an email, announcements, updates, and offers, you can turn that on. I don't like having that on in my Roblox account, so unless you do want it on, you can keep it off or turn it on. And then we're going to go back to the this one, Experience Notifications. This is the games you play on there. See how I have some of them here. It shows that I have activity updates from experiences you have turned on notifications for. So each um, some of the games you're able to turn on notifications for, I think most of them you can. And if you do, they show up on this list. And this is if you want it to be quiet. If you're done done getting a notification from that, you can click the switch. It turn oh, and then this is where it comes up. So you hit the switch. It says, "Are you sure you'll no longer receive notifications from update Pet Ranch Simulator 2?" So you just click turn off, and it's off. And I can turn it back on, and it just turns on. So it, then it gives you a warning when you turn it off, which it makes sense. Might as might as well warn me before I do it. So you go through here. You can turn them on and off here. And the last part in here is group notifications. Now, uh, activity updates from groups you have turned on notifications for. So if you're in a group, some sort of group, this will give you the notification. None of them are on. I'm in some groups, but I don't have any of the notifications turned on. Let's say I turn this one on. So I'm going to shut it off. Oh, I don't want it. And they're going to give you the warning again. Um, are you sure you'll no longer receive notifications from United States military 1960s? Okay, so I say turn it off. So now it's off. So that's that's the way you do it on the website how you come in and you can adjust your notifications we're going to jump on over to the mobile app on my mobile phone and i'll show you how to do it there okay now we're over on our my motorola edge android phone on how we're going to show you how to turn off roblox notification or turn them on using the mobile app so since we're here let's jump over to where the roblox app is we're going to get out of this screen we're going to swipe over uh, Roblox apps right there, tap on it. Once you open that, it's going to pop up. Make sure you're signed into your account. You probably are if you're already here. Um, you want to go down to the bottom where it says more at the bottom right. You gotta tap on more. And then once you do that, you're going to scroll up you know, right up here until you get down to settings. And we're going to tap on that. And then settings will appear. And you'll have a menu here. And you're looking for notifications. That second to the bottom tap on that once you do that notifications will appear and this is where you can do all the work on notifications so customize notifications across channels and experiences just like I was talking about before in the beginning of the video you don't have Android notifications turned on for this device no I don't 
I don't have it in there, but you can by enabling it right there. You won't be able to receive them. So if you have it enabled, so let's say we're gonna enable them, we're gonna do that for this video, and it's gonna ask me to do it, I'm gonna say okay. So if you ever enable them, you can actually do it there, but we're gonna go back through here, since now they're on, so you can see, you can hit this little down arrow, and it's gonna give you all the notifications right here. You can turn them off or on, just like we did on the website. The same thing, Roblox Communities, you can turn it on, or actually off that's off and on on is green and <laughs> the gray means it's off so you can do that with your mobile push notifications if it's enabled on your device i just enabled it so now it's going to show up on my end so there's those uh, many there's many options you have to go through and kind of mess with it so we go back up and the same thing before we had email notifications you can turn that on here uh, and if you turned it on the website, it's obviously going to be on already. And that's the same things they, they're across the board. So experience notifications are right here too, just like we did before. If you turned them off, it's going to give you that warning. You're, you'll no longer receive notifications from Puppet. So you can just turn it off by tapping on that. So that's how you do it on there. Same way. See, it's all the same from the website. So you just had to find out where it was on here. So group notifications, same thing turn on off and that's it you don't have to hit save nothing like that um and that's it that's how easy it is to find on the mobile app on your phone and mine's an android um motorola edge android phone but it's it's the app so it's going to be the same way on the samsung's and stuff like that so that's how easy it is and now you know how to do it on the website and on your mobile phone and that's it guys thanks for watching make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.